Good morning, Mission Presbytery. We are glad that you are able to join us. Um, we still have some people uh, coming in, but we want to thank you for being here uh, on time, and we will be respectful of that time, and so therefore we will go ahead and start this meeting. Um, let's start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for calling us your very own, for making us your children, for making us the body of Christ, for giving us work, Lord, and responsibilities to handle your business in your spirit for your kingdom and for your glory. This morning, Lord, we ask that you would once again fill us with your Holy Spirit. Let him abound in our midst. Let us put aside our own egos, Lord, and our own agendas and our own selves and be as one body, Lord, one spirit, one Lord, one Father. We thank you, Lord, for the business that's going to transpire today and for your will that will be done today. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, welcome, everybody. Uh, we would ask that you go ahead and uh, mute yourself. That way we can reduce some uh, background noise. It would be helpful for us to be able to see your name there at the bottom uh, of your screen. We will uh, ask you to uh, keep uh, yourself uh, muted. Uh, and then if you're called upon to speak during the meeting, we would ask that you would unmute yourself so then we can all hear you. A little uh, housekeeping background. Uh, we've already mentioned that uh, we would like your name to be uh, seen uh, and muted. At the bottom, at the middle of your uh, Zoom screen, you will see a participants list. We ask that you click on that now and uh, a pop-up box will uh, lit uh, light up on your right-hand side and go ahead and keep that open. You will see who is here. When it comes time to vote, uh, we will ask you to use that blue hand where it says raise hand. Uh, you, we will ask you to uh, press that and we will count the votes and then the blue hands will go down and we will take a, a vote again for those who uh, decide to vote no. And so with that, uh, we will uh, go ahead and continue. Uh, and if, if you need it, can you go ahead and press that blue hand right now just to make sure everybody understands the instructions? Carlos, um, when I looked at, this is Laurie Palmer. When I looked at this this week, there was still a blue hand. I don't have a blue hand on mine and I'm wondering if anybody else uh, has that too. It, it, do, does everybody have the blue hand? Yes. I, I Fabulous. Don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. I'm going to suggest, Carlos, excuse me. I'm going to suggest that uh, if you don't have a blue hand, check either yes uh, when uh, Carlos calls for uh, a yay vote and do no for the no vote. Okay. Uh, Madam Clerk, do we have a quorum? We do. Sweet. Then uh, we can uh, go ahead and proceed. With that, if everybody can just go ahead and lower your blue hands. Carlos, I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing the hand or yes or no raise on my screen. Should I be able to see it or are you only going to be able have, to see it? Have you hit your participant? Yes, what? sir. My, my, I have my blue hand and I have my yes and no's. Okay. Uh, I believe everybody should be able to see your blue hand on the participant box. Carlos, I still cannot see my blue hand. If you do not have a blue hand, do you see the yes and no at the bottom of the participants list? Uh, no. You do not. No, I don't, I don't either. I, I, don't, don't, I don't either. <laughs> This is Mark Stoddard. Uh, on the bottom, it, mine gave me an instruction to click on the where it says reactions. If you have one that says reactions on the bottom, and then up comes a box that has hands and yes and no and everything on it. Okay. Thank that you. works. Thank you, Mark. Yes. Thank you. Does everybody now have the icons of the blue hand? I don't know. Uh, no. Mark, can you repeat those instructions again, please, for us? 
on, you know, I had to update my Zoom this morning and with this new one, it says on the very bottom where it has all the list of the instructions, one of the things is reactions. And you click on that box and another bo box comes up and it gives you a choice of a heart and yes and no and a raise hand, you know, down at the very bottom of it. And so well, it, you may, you know, some so people may need to re, to uh, you know, go to the, you know, check and which version of Zoom they're, they're using. Yeah. Reactions is at the bottom of the screen uh, where you're seeing people, not in the participants list. So if you see, there, I, go down to the bottom. My yellow hand up. There you go. But this is Reverend Katie Walters. If you're on an iPad or iPhone or another device, it's the three little dots at the bottom that say more. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. So we're supposed to lower our hand now? I'll... Yes, sir, please. Okay. It's lowered. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, I still see a couple of blue hands. Can you lower those, please? Great. Uh, everybody, I think we're on the same page now, correct? Yes. Okay, Carl, can you lower your blue hand? Carl Spinner? Thank you. Wonderful. Since we do have a quorum, and now we all uh, are familiar with how to vote, the purpose of the meeting is to elect an administrative commission to help close Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church at its own request. At this moment, I will call upon uh, Monica Smith, who is the chair of the COM, to make the motion and to give some background regarding this uh, motion. Monica? Yes, Monica Smith. I'm the chair of the Commission on Ministry. Hold on. Uh, COM moves that the Presbytery concur with Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church of San Antonio's request to close as a congregation and to an appoint an administrative commission to consider and conclude matters regarding the church. The AC duties shall include, but shall not be limited to one, inquiring into the current status of membership and all finances, two, assuming original jurisdiction of the session if needed, three, ascertaining what legal recourses may need to be taken for recommending to the Presbytery a plan for the property. And we do have four people who have agreed to serve on the Administrative Commission, uh, Teaching Elder Karen Stocks, who is the current moderator of Good Shepherd, uh, Tom Dallas, Ruling Elder at Good Shepherd, Don Martin, Teaching Elder from COM, she is their uh, COM liaison, and Mark Rainey, Ruling Elder from the Trustees. And Mr. Moderator, I'd be happy to speak to the motion. Okay, at this time we will open uh, for discussion. If you have a question or a comment, please uh, raise your blue hand and I will call upon you. Uh, uh, Carlos, excuse me, did you want me to give a little background first? Would you please, Monica? Sure, sure. Um, Good Shepherd is a congregation on uh, the western edge of San Antonio by Lackland Air Force Base. Um, they've been... Uh, dwindling in membership and financial resources for a couple of years and um, kind of all of that got exacerbated by the pandemic and their uh, inability to meet together in person and the inability of many members to meet uh, virtually. Um, their commission pastor had to retire in the summer and all of these things combined to, to uh, help them realize that this was the time uh, that they were going to need to close. So on November 15th, they had a congregational meeting uh, to, to ask Mission Presbytery to dissolve the congregation. The, meeting, the vote at that meeting was unanimous. And they also asked that we expedite the process as, as much as we could uh, to help uh, preserve their remaining financial resources. And so that is one reason that we're having a called meeting today rather than waiting all the way until March. Um, that brings us to you today with uh, gratitude for their ministry of uh, and faithful years of service. Thank you, Monica. Uh, at this time, if you do have a question, please raise your blue hand and we will recognize you. 
I, Leslie Ellison, I've raised my blue hand. Yes, Leslie please, Ellison, please tell us your name, uh, your title, and your church, please. Leslie Ellison, uh, retired uh, minister of the Presbytery and uh, stated clerk from 1980 to 19 to 2000. I um, remember August 1968. That's the time when there was a call meeting of Alamo Presbytery which was hosted by Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church very graciously. And I was received into the membership of Alamo to become pastor at Los Angeles Heights Presbyterian Church in San Antonio. And very grateful for the, the work of that church through many years, through many pastors. I uh, particularly remember uh, Mary Lou Herlock and George Herlock, uh, fine, wonderful people gone now. We, um, we just, uh, I'm grateful for the ministry of this church in so many ways and sad that the congregation did not grow and become uh, stronger through the years. The uh, church, uh, I was uh, also, Alamo Presbytery, for those that may not know, uh, joined with Mission Presbytery in 1981 to become Mission Union Presbytery. In 83 became Mission Presbytery. Leslie, thank you for your words of affirmation. I have a Kali Fernandez. Kali? Good morning. I'm Kali Fernandez from New Covenant Fellowship of Austin. It's my home church uh, ruling elder, and I'm in South Texas at Puentes de Cristo as the director for that ministry. And so I have a couple of questions, and Leslie kind of answered one, because I wanted to know when um, the church was established, how many years in service, and then also what happens with uh, the records of their ministries? Who's in charge of, of uh, archiving those records? Carlos, I can answer that if you'd yes, like me to. Um, I don't know the answer to your first question, Kali. I'm not sure of, of how long they've been there, but a long time uh, in the, in the, um, the post-World War II years. Um, as far as their records, the the administrative commission will get all of those together and we'll get them organized. And then the presbytery holds on to those records. Um, the presbytery will hold the membership of those members until they ask to be transferred to another congregation. Uh, and we also we also take care of the that history and their and their records. And Kavi, I believe that their website said that they were established in the 1960s, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other blue hands? Mr. Moderator. Yes. This is Judy Ferguson. Um, I'm not finding my blue hand when the screen is shared. Uh, is it possible for us to take that? I think we all have the motion. Is it possible for us to take that down? When I go to reactions, I don't get that. So when the screen went up, everything else went away. Ed? Can you minimize the... There you go. Thank you. Does that help everybody? Yep. Okay. I want to ask one more time if anybody has any uh, uh, questions, please raise your blue hand. Lucinda Lee? If you can unmute yourself, Ms. Lee? Miss Lee, we still see that you are muted. At the bottom of your screen to your left, you'll see the mute mic there. Okay, Lucinda. Miss Lee, you are unmuted. Can you speak, please? Okay, uh, Marshall, is it Lucian? Yes, sir, Lockhausen. I'm with Thank Island you. Presbyterian in Corpus Christi. Uh, I'm an elder there. And just out of curiosity, what's the membership of, of the church? Monica, do you know that? Uh, I don't. Don Martin, do you know that? No. Or, or Karen Stocks, do you know that? 35. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Fred Gamble. I was just pointing out that I'm, I am not Stacy Eichert. <laughs> I see you as Fred Gamble here. Okay, I was showing up as Stacy Eichert. Thank you, Fred. Uh, Karen Stocks, your hand is up. Okay, Karen, I see that you've you're not there anymore. Uh, any other one? Any other blue hands, please? I want to make sure. Okay, seeing no further hands, uh, the chair will entertain a motion. Mr. Moderator, we COM made the motion already. Okay, uh, so are we ready to vote? If you are in favor to pass this motion, I would ask you to raise your, your blue hand at this moment. I am just scrolling down here. At this time, please put your blue hands down. And anybody opposed to the motion, please raise your blue hand at this moment. Okay, the motion carries. Monica, do you have any other words for the membership here today? I think that concludes our report. Okay, thank you. Having uh, listened, having heard the Lord's voice, we have uh, moved on this motion to go forward. And we have now formed this uh, committee that will take this process forward. I have called on Larry Sears. He is one of our uh, commissioned pastors to close us in prayer. He has filled pulpit there for uh, Good Shepherd on some times. And so I know that he knows the congregation. And before he prays, if you are from a Good Shepherd this morning, can you please raise your blue hand so we could recognize you? Lucinda Lee, Miss Lee, we want to thank you for the witness that you and the other members have given there uh, at Good Shepherd for so many years. We have heard from several ministers who have had their uh, education, their training, their ability to, to touch the community the ministries that you have called for there. It is the Lord that starts and is the Lord who completes it. So thank you so much for being faithful. We are with you in this process. Uh, we are one body. We hurt together. We praise together. We worship together. And committee, thank you uh, for serving. Uh, Karen Stocks, Tom Dallas, Dwan Martin, and Mark Rainey. Thank you so much for heading this committee. And Monica, thank you also for bringing the report to the body. Larry Sears, will you please unmute yourself and uh, conclude us with a word of prayer and thanking the Lord for Good Shepherd also. Father, thank you for the ministry that's gone on at Good Shepherd for all these years. Thank you for your show of love to them and for their show of love of, of your love to them through them to the knit community around them, Father. I thank you for the work that's been done from there. And I just ask you, Lord, to, to be with the membership, the, the people who I know spent some time being concerned about this and, and wondering what to do, finally having to decide that maybe it was time to close the board. 
Lord, I ask that you would bring them a peace in knowing that they're, they've been listening to you and knowing that they've done what you've asked them to do. And watch over each one of those members as they go to other churches, Lord, to be a help there too, Father. And I pray that you'll be with the commission as they work through the the regulations and the rules and the things for closing a church, Lord, that that will go smoothly and that they'll be blessed by the work that's done there, Lord. And I ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mission Petrie, thank you. On behalf of Sally Watson, our presbyter, uh, your, the council, the leadership team, thank you so much. And thank you for the grace that you've uh, given uh, Lori and I, as is our first time together uh, holding this meeting. We will see each other in March. God willing. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Enjoy your Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.